Now while your phone is still connected, here's what our next one you do. Click on Motorola Q on this PHMS folder. We're going to copy. And we're going to go back to my computer. And we are now going to click on mobile device. Once we're in this mobile device, we're going to click on my Windows mobile based device. And once we're in this section, we're just going to paste. Now you can let this run all the way through. Okay, once this has completed, close this box and you can disconnect your phone. Okay, here's my disconnected phone. Now on the phone, what I want you to do, I'm just going to wait for it to focus real quick, is you're going to click on Start. And we are looking for File Manager. And now in File Manager, we are browsing for the PHMS folder. Could be under Application Data if it's not there. Take a look under your Documents and Settings. If you don't find it there, there it is. It sometimes takes a second to pop up, but look around it'll be right there in just a few seconds and then you're gonna click on it it's gonna bring you to this now there are multiple files excuse me I just went off screen but there are multiple files that you can click on um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the lucky file for your phone each phone is different um, it's gonna ask you to confirm it's from an unknown publisher we're gonna click yes and then it says that it was unsuccessful. Okay, one of these will be successful. I know mine is very close to the bottom. I think it is this one for my phone. Each phone is different. So let's click on it. And we click yes. Unsuccessful. Let's go up again. Click on it. There we go. That's the right one. Uh, and then it says may not display properly, whatever. That's fine. Um, and then it says was successfully install installed on your device. Great, we click done. Okay. Now what I want you to do, go back to your home screen. Here we go, start. And now we are looking for the PHM registry editor right here. See it? Click on it. Now first thing we're going to do is go to H K H K H K E Y local and we are going to click on this from here we are looking for software software and then we want Motorola and now we are looking for MMS right here okay um, now once you've gone to over here we are going to look for oops wrong one uh, you go to profile profiles and then VZW MMS do you see that unfocused again wait for it to focus there it goes, VZW MMS, okay? Click on that folder, and now it shows nothing. So we click Values, and now it shows all of this. Now we, we want to go to IP Address, and we are going to take all of this, and we are just going to delete it all out of there. Now I want you to set your IP address to 10, dot oops ten dot three dot zero dot four one okay once that has been set make sure you click the done button then it'll bring you back over here and now we're going to choose MMSC URL 
Once again, we are going to scroll all the way. Oops. Once again, I go too far. And we delete all of this out of here. Now we're going to type in my cricket. Once we've typed my cricket, we're going to click done. Okay, then we're going to go down to port and we want to make sure it's on 8080. After that, we click back and we go home. And that's it. Now you have a full flashed Motorola Q. Once again, we can dial 611 to test that this is on Motorola um, on the Sprint network. Not Sprint, Cricket. There we go. For English, please stay on the line. So that confirms that it is on the Cricket network. And that's all there is to it. So once again, for all these files, over here, the link to the right, click on our link and you can purchase them for $8. Thank you.